What's up guys, welcome back to the Matrix channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, our team member Miros Avdoyan. He managed to get a silver medal at the ADCC European Trials after only um, three and a half years of training. He's only purple belt, um, gets his first stripe now. So um, check this out, this is, these are two techniques he used on, um, to, to defeat two of his opponents to um, make his way into the finals. So here he has one hook in, but he cannot get the second hook in, he cannot get the seat belt. The, uh, sometimes guys are really um, stubborn and um, hide everything. They don't give you a seat belt. And um, what, he, what he does here is, so he explains no space, he cannot get in, no seat belt, no second hook. Um, what he does is, he gonna use his right knee to um, force it in because it's way stronger than trying to get a foot in. If you try to get the hook in, it's weaker than if you use your, your um, knee to force it in. That's what he's showing here. He forces in the knee in and takes the, the other hook out, but keeps the, the, the hook in place on, on the hip area. So now he switches to a, um, to a guillotine grip. Meros is really good with guillotines, arm in and um, regular guillotines. So here he's closing, he's going very deep on the grip, okay guys? If you try this technique, go very deep on it, as you can see here. So once you get that deep grip, you're trying to have his neck under your armpit, okay? And once you get this, it's it's pretty much set and done. So you only, you turn a little bit more, you make sure that your knee comes through and your um, heel still blocks his hips so he cannot escape it. And you have a really tight arm in guillotine. I personally don't like arm in guillotines, but this one, uh, I'm gonna use it for sure. I tried it and it's super tight and it's not that hard to do. Um, normally, I, I'm not the biggest guy, so I, I don't like arm in guillotines. This one, I use it's it's really good. Here he shows it again. You cannot get the seat belt. He takes the hook out. Knees already in. Um, also, he said that you can grab by the um, by the elbow. Grab if you can. First, you grab the the opponent's elbow and then you advance to the complete grip. That's technique number one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, Miros, for showing it. His English is not that good. That's why um, I narrated. it. Um, here's technique number two. He he was in a half guard, so he explained it like it happened. From here, he likes to dive under the second leg, invert, and and attack the the leg. But the guy was blocking his arm, so he pushed the head away, and went for Kimura here. Miros has very good Kimuras too, so the guy was very strong. What he did was bringing the uh, shrimping out and bringing the other leg over to um, bring the foot on the hip. But from here. He went. Um, he changed position again to go for for um, kind of a, a danger position, a triangle position. So it's not a close triangle, but he brings his um, legs in a position for potential triangle. What the guy was super strong and stretched his arm out. This is something I use all the time, and um, you gotta understand. Mirrors is super strong. He is heavy but he moves like a lightweight and that gives him the advantage on the mat and that is why he is so good after such a short time. Most heavyweights, they don't do that. What they do is they use what they already have and they don't build up the technique, which is a huge mistake. Miras is very playful when you roll with him. He's like 25 kilograms more than me, but I love rolling with him because he never forces anything if we roll. He's just very playful and gets in, lets, uh, lets you get him in, in very bad positions, stuff like that. That's why he develops such good technique. So here shows it again. You bring your legs in the triangle position. And if the guy is super strong, you cannot finish it. You, he straightens out the arm, you just help him doing this, okay? So you bring the arm even higher, higher, higher. Nobody is strong or flexible there. And then you you have a nice arm lock. And believe me, the people there uh, in, in Poland on, on the ADCC trials, man, they don't tap. They don't tap. <laughs> he broke the guy's arm. Um, those people, they all they want is win, they train for it, they, they're, they're crazy, you know. So um, Miros had to break the guy's arm, unfortunately. But this is a high level competition and if if people don't tap, what can you do? So here it is again. If you cannot go under the leg, you push the head away and boom, that it exposes the arm. You get the Kimura grip. 
tr try to yeah sometimes people hold on on their like knee pit um and and hold on very very tight so if they're strong you cannot get the arm out okay here what i like to do is shrimp and bring my left hook in to do kind of a butterfly sweep which works very well for me but Mirrors prefers this he brings the leg over again boom advances to the triangle position oh yeah he has a double threat here going on and again the guy was straightening out his arm he couldn't finish him here so he used this brings him even higher 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 you're trying to bring the arm over the head okay and you're gonna feel that there's, there's a stop stopping point in the shoulder and then you have the arm lock you have the, the straight arm lock yes so that's um, for those two techniques very well explained mirrors thank you if you like our channel please subscribe like share comment there's uh, a lot of things coming also check out our friends from yoga for bjj uh, highly recommend that keeps you on the mat forever if you do it right us